police on the streets facing down protesters in the northeastern city of Silet. The demonstrations called in protest against the verdict of a controversial war crimes tribunal. Life in prison for senior opposition figures from the Jamaati Islami movement for crimes committed during the country's war of independence more than 40 years ago. 15 people are said to have been killed during the last week as Bangladeshis took part in similar protests across the country. Tear gas, rubber-coated steel bullets and, in some cases, according to the opposition, live ammunition were all used by the authorities. The way the trial is being run is going to push Bangladesh to a civil war state. It's going to be the darkest days of Bangladesh, I believe. That's going to be the case in the next few days. Well, you know what's happening with the security services and the police force. They have become the tool for the government. They're shooting openly. M massacre has happened in other cities. The opposition party activists are not allowed to congregate. In the capital, Dhaka, police drag away several young men. Unrest, too, in the southern city of Cox's Bazar where locals closed shops and businesses, heeding the opposition's call to bring the city to a standstill. But pro-government voices were also heard in Dhaka with supporters of the governing Awami League political party demanding that those sentenced face the death penalty. Our movement is going on and it will be keep on going until our demand is fulfilled of the death sentence of all criminals. Far from fulfilling a role of reconciliation, the war crimes tribunal has instead created a polarizing effect that shows no sign of abating on the streets. Jamal al-Shayyal, Al-Jazeera.